jobs lost, empty buildings in strip malls. Last month, the announcement of Gander Mountain's financial troubles all but assured issues in multiple Metro Detroit locations. But as 7 Action News' Matthew Smith reports, there may be some hope after all. Matt, a strange situation developing? Yeah, and an interesting one for Michigan, too, because we're talking about multiple businesses throughout our state and jobs at stake. They initially said that they were going bankrupt, then there was an asset auction, but now the guy who actually owns the property, Gander Mountain, says things aren't all going away. And of all places, he's making each and every major announcement on Twitter. I'm shocked. The signs say everything must go, which has people like Dave Glefke, who's shopped here for years. At least 10 years, 12 years. Feeling bummed. So, I mean, I, I've spent a lot of money in here. But is Gander Mountain really going out of business? Though the website says yes. Heck, the doors of the Utica, Novi, and Taylor stores say so. But the guy who bought the company out of bankruptcy says not so fast. There's more than 10 Gander Mountains in Michigan. And already, Marcus Leminis has stated that six stores in Michigan will be saved. None of them in Metro Detroit. What's the first thought that comes into your head? Deals. <laughs> uh, I love deals. Meaning deals can still be had at stores as they continue on with their liquidation sales. Now I myself has reached out to Leminus on Twitter. So have other people in Metro Detroit. But so far he says it's too early to say whether any of the three stores in our location will eventually be added to the list of stores that will be saved from foreclosure.